Day. And our Labour government will not just protect rights at work, consumer rights and environmental regulations and our trade. Our Labour government will invest for the future, bring hope to people where there is despair, which will deal with the issues of poverty and inequality across Britain, that will tax fairly the very richest and the biggest corporations in order that we can fund the public services for the rest. So on Thursday, when you're out there door knocking for David, when you're getting that message across, it's going to be cold, it's going to be wet, but please carry on till 10 o'clock on Thursday night and win this election for the good of the generations to come and the care for the generation that now needs the help and support. Thank you very much. The Daily Mirror today shows this picture. A four-year-old boy being treated on the floor of a hospital. And... People ask questions about this, and I simply say this. The Tories have had nine years to fund our NHS properly. It's time to bring their regime to an end. But there's another threat to the NHS. The secret talks that have gone on for two years between the Tory government and the United States administration. That trade deal would put all of our public services at risk into the hands of global corporations and they would open up what they gently call our health market. Well, I've got news for them. There is no health market. We shut that down in 1948 when we established the National Health Service. Many people make up their minds in the last few days of the campaign. We'll be campaigning right up until 10 o'clock on Thursday night. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for your determination to elect a Labour government and thank you for the hope you give to so many. So on Thursday, vote for hope, vote for change, vote for a Labour government. Thank you very much, Bristol.